Yo, what's up guys, Yusuf here from TechDroids and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And in today's video, I take you guys over the best $750 gaming PC for 2018. This is going to be a total beast at gaming as well as high-end multitasking. And in my opinion, it's totally worth the money. So if you're looking for a PC that can play games at high-end settings and in high resolutions, and also get some really good work done, this is the PC for you. Towards the end of the video, we'll talk about the performance numbers, the benchmarks, and some future upgrades that you can get to make the performance of this PC go higher or make it a better beast. And apart from that, all the parts in this video will be linked in the description of Amazon US and those are affiliate links. So if you wanna help the channel out and in turn help me make more videos, go ahead and buy from those. And with that being said, let's get on with the build. So starting off with the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 1500X. Now I know this is the first generation and I will explain towards the end of the video why I don't go with the second generation. And yeah, this is a four core CPU with eight threads, comes clocked at 3.5 gigahertz on the base and can go up to 3.7 with max boost. It is unlocked so you can overclock it with XFR and precision boost. It has a TDP of 65 watts and it's a really good package for only $149. And the best thing is that you get a Spire cooler that is not LED, but still, if you want to overclock this thing and get some extra performance, you don't have to buy a third party cooler. Now to house that CPU, we have the MSI Pro Series B350M Pro VDH. This is a really good budget B350M motherboard with the AM4 socket, four slots of DDR4 up to 3200 MHz, so you can add memory to your heart's content. It is micro ATX in terms of the form factor, so you're not paying a premium for small. USB 3.0, HDMI, and it can also support overclocking, so for $70, a really good deal in my opinion. Now for memory, we have 8GB of Ballistic Sport LT DDR4 at 2666MHz, really healthy clock speed for the first generation, and for $80, I know RAM pricing is still the same, it will come down eventually, but for $80 now, 8GB in 2018 should be really enough for gaming and doing modern day-to-day -day tasks. But yeah, you have 4 slots in the motherboard, so if you want to upgrade to 16 or 32, surely go ahead and do that. Now for mass storage, we have the 1TB WD Blue hard drive, 7200RPM, 3.5 inch form factor for only $44. Not really the fastest thing in the world, but a terabyte of space for $44 is a no-brainer. Now to power this whole build up, we have the Thermaltake Smart Power Supply, which is 600 watts and 80 plus wide certified with a 5 year warranty. 600 watts should be more than enough to power this whole build up and also leave some headroom for future upgrades and for $39, you cannot ask for more. Now for the start of the show and the graphics card, we have the Gigabyte GeForce GDX 1060. This is the overclocked edition. It has two fans, so 6 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, base clock of 1582 and a max boost of 1797 on overclocking mode. It has DirectX 12 support, it is VR ready, 1 HDMI, 3 display ports and 1 DVI. And for $289, not the best value for money, but yeah, if you can find this offline for a cheaper price, maybe used, and yeah, graphics card pricing will come down. All those things, you can buy this graphics card, it is totally worth it. Now to wrap this whole build up, we have the Corsair Carbide 275R. In my opinion, this is a really good minimal looking case with a clear side panel or a clear side window. So it's completely transparent so you can show off your parts. It is ATX mid tower in terms of the form factor. A lot of space, really good looks, very simple, not gamery or anything. USB 3.0 and audio jacks and for $69, what else can you ask for? So that's about it for the parts. Now let's talk about performance and some future upgrades. So performance should be excellent. You can expect this PC to perform up to your expectations. You're spending $750. So yeah, with the GDX 1060 and a Ryzen 5 1500X, this is gonna be a beast. Now, not going with second generation because the upgrade is just not there and a 1500X is more than enough for a $750 budget. Rather than going to a 2600 and bottlenecking with a you know, GDX 1066 GB, I suggest go with the first generation. Motherboards are cheaper, memory will be cheaper, the CPU itself is cheap and overall the whole PC is in your budget. So first generation, nothing wrong with it, still beast of a CPUs. And yeah, talking about the FPS and the settings, in the modern AAA titles such as GTA 5 and the new Assassin's Creed, the new Wolfenstein, many more games, 1080p or 1440p medium to max settings. Depending upon the settings you pick, you'll get a really good, you know, playable frame rate. Don't be expecting to play at ultra at every game, you know, maxing out at 4K. No, that's not going to be happening. Keep your expectation moderate and yeah, you'll be getting really good frame rates with some really good resolution as well. Talking about live streaming and editing, as I said, you can edit maybe in 1080p, 1440p, and also try some 4K in Adobe Premiere Pro. Don't expect to crush After Effects in this one, not gonna happen anytime soon. But yeah, live streaming is also possible. Overall, a pretty moderate, you know, balanced PC that can do everything in its own way. Not crushing anything, but yeah, it's capable of doing anything you throw at it in that budget. Other than that, talking about the future upgrades, you can upgrade the CPU to a Ryzen second generation by updating the BIOS. Maybe go to Ryzen 7 with the first generation. That's also totally possible. 
and yeah upgrade the ram maybe add more ram maybe make it 16 or 32 gigabytes in the future if you want more if your applications demand more add more storage in my opinion you should go with ssds rather than hard drives but yeah you can add whatever you want and there is no need to upgrade the power supply as far as you're not doing any major upgrades other than that that's about it for this video guys thanks so much for watching you know thumbs up if it was helpful if you enjoyed this video Go ahead and subscribe for more and hit that notification thingy so you don't miss out on uploads. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this build. What do you think about the video overall? Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.